So, back on Chigborough, uh, it's late December, I've just finished up with my clients, it's just coming up to 3 o'clock, got about half an hour, 45 minutes worth of light left, it's a beautiful evening, it's starting to get pretty cold now though, but I thought I'd come over and just give it a quick 45 minutes and see what we could do. Um, something a little bit different today, well, it's a little bit different for some people, that's all they do. Uh, we're just in a little bit of lure fishing. The colour of the water here, we've had a lot of rain here this last few days, this last week really, and a lot of runoff. Um, so the water's got quite a bit of colour in it, uh, carrying quite a tinge, and that's to be expected really with all the runoff. So that kind of dictates the colours of flies we're going to use. Uh, and I've picked out this nice big black tadpole. Unweighted, no weight in that at all. But a big old tail on it, loads of movement. Just 10 foot of 10 pound fluorocarbon to a fast glass, to a clear fast intermediate, just to break down through the surface. These fish aren't going to be up particularly high um, because of these temperatures. It really is getting quite cold now, but I don't expect them to be too far down either. So we're just going to give this a little shot and see what happens. Have a nice long cast across here. Lovely. There we go. Right, give it a couple of pulls just to get that intermediate sink it a bit and then we're going to vary the retrieval and I'll make that lure move about in an erratic fashion to try and uh, get these trout to snatch out of it not particularly fast retrieves because this much colour in the water um, you want to give the fish plenty of opportunity to see the fly so that'll do this it's down about five or six seconds so a nice erratic twitchy figure of eight just to get that fly really pulsing and moving and so we can't spur something in it's snatching out at it really is a lovely evening this is the biggest of the three lakes over at uh, Chigborough this is 16 acres this one little island in the middle down there varying depths between 12 foot and 2 foot uh, loads of little uh, holes and Lots of drop-offs, uh, sunken trees, all sorts on this lake. It's a lovely, lovely lake to fish. Real winter and spring lake, this one. Great buzz of life. Plenty of damsels. Um, you get mayflies here as well. All sorts. Keep that working about that was Nigel just saying goodbye. Let's give that another whiz out there. Try a slightly different retrieve this time. A minute to settle. Oh we should bought another jumper. Right. Let's give this a little go. Yes little six inch pulls just to move it about let's try one over there towards that platform let's keep covering the water in front of you like any kind of fly fishing keep fishing the available water in front of you these fish move about oh, this wind's really dropping now Right, let's twiddle that back and see what happens. Nice and steady. Fishing in about six foot of water here. 
There's a little take there. There's another little take. There we are. He's on. He's on. Lovely. And just kept coming and coming and coming, that one. And a steady, slow figure of eight. I do like these uh, lines with a little bit of stretch in them, these intermediates with a little bit of stretch in them. Certainly a flow to a little bit of stretch in it. Uh, I don't think there's much room for a non-stretch flow to. Um, but these uh, intermediates as well, with a little bit of stretch in them. The fish just seem to get hold of the flies a little bit better. You don't get so many bumps and knocks, you just tend to get nice steady lockups, nice steady takes. That's my view on it anyhow, I might be wrong, it's a lovely fish as well. Beautiful fish. That's just, that's, seems to want to go in the reeds this one. Cracking chick with a rainbow this one. Oh yeah, look at that. In you go, beautiful. Nice fish. Two and a half pound. There's that hook just in the bottom of your mouth. Barbless hook. Drop right out. Uh, lovely. Cheaper rainbow. In the autumn sun. Is that that fly that these fish are really fine and irresistible? It's all tail, really, but the movement on in the water is incredible. I could fish two flies, could fish a team. Um, up to you, I just find it easier just to fish a single fly. These fish aren't exactly pressured, you only want to catch them one at a time. So, you know, just one fly. If I felt that they were getting a bit finicky, I might uh, put smaller fly on, or I might put a couple of smaller flies and go over to the nymphs. I just thought for a change we'd do a little bit of lure fishing today. I dare say you'd get these on nymphs, you'd certainly get them on the bung. It's the right sort of evening for it. I want to get them on the lures, it is winter after all. It's that nice steady figure of eight. You had that about halfway back, I reckon that fly was somewhere about three foot down. Somewhere about that sort of depth there now. Little touch there, let's see if he comes back. They do tend to nip and pull and hit the tails of these flies and I see a lot of people trying to strike these little knocks and you can't hit them, there's, again there's no real place for striking, uh, you just got to keep going, just keep coming, just keep coming, once they're interested they normally keep coming there, I'll have a little touch there, they normally keep coming and keep coming and keep coming, they just aggro themselves and there he, oh he's off, they sort of aggro themselves into taking, you could try speeding up, slowing down, I generally find that just keeping the same pace all the time does the trick. And I always hang the flies, especially if you've had a little bit of interest there, like on that one. That's just coming up there now, just past the marker. Let's lift that up and just hang that. Because we're sat nice and back away from the water here, these fish will come in pretty close. Another little tip if you get a touch like that, you get a nice pull like that, just check your fly. They can often turn the tails on these. That's alright, they can often turn the tails on these flies around the hook and mask the hook and you end up getting lots and lots of pulls but the hook being masked you don't get any hook ups, you don't get any hook set. Let's just get that out of there again, pull straighten it out and we'll give it a few seconds to settle down. That sun's just dropping out of the sky, what a beautiful evening though. Real winter fishing, I do love winter fishing, best fishing of the year. That's just the way with that steady figure of eight again, all the way back. I think because of the colour in the water, you, you've got to keep your retrieves that little bit slower. Uh, give the fish a good chance to see. Oh, little touch there again. Give these fish a real chance. He's, oh, we just hit that again. He's just bashing the tail of it. Come on. Come on a third time. Yeah. 
<laughs> and again, he's still there. Oh, come on. Surely he's going to hang on. Surely you've got to talk these fish in sometime. Talk these fish into taking. He had three or four goes at that. I thought he was on that time. They soon work out that they can't eat it. Get a couple of quick pulls and then back to your figure right. Not that time. Right, third time lucky. Let's see if we can get him now. Right, the sun's all but gone now. Whoosh, away it goes. It's just a seven weight rod, uh, one of the T2s, this one. Um, just a nice soft rod for fishing. Small waters, you don't need big beefy competition rods for fishing these little lakes. Fish comfortable in the winter as well, given half a choice. Get that wind off your back. It won't be too cold. Fish often come up that wind in the winter. They come up a cold wind to get out of it themselves. And just short sessions in the winter. Just three or two or three hour sessions at the prime time of day, sort of lunch time till three o'clock. I think it's probably the best time of day to be out. Figure of eight going again. Yep. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. He had that that time. No messing around. It's funny how some of them are completely committed in the take, and others just want to nip and knock it. I suppose a lot to do with the angle they're coming on the hook as well. Oh, he's off. There you go. <laughs> Just as he said that. Oh. Let's get a, get a cast out right there. Steady, sturdy figure of eight. It seems to be the way to get them. And again, little pull, little pull, little pull. No, not coming back. Right, last 10 minutes. It's getting way too cold now. So we've had one, we've lost one, and we've had a few other offers. Let's see if we can pop one more in a bag and make it a productive half an hour. It's definitely this steady figure of eight seems to be the one that's getting them. He's off, he's off. Come on. A little check of that hook, I think. It's two, we had two huge takes that haven't stuck. And as I said earlier, a lot of the time they're getting hold of that tail of that fly, I'm not properly uh, getting anywhere near the hook point. We're just going to check that hook is alright, just in case something's on it, I'm masking it, and the tail's wrapped around it. Good 
to make. You could trim this fly down a bit to stop them from hitting the tail and hopefully get them onto the hook a little bit more. The trouble with that is when you start taking the tail off the fly, for me it starts losing some of its attraction. It can often be detrimental to the way the fish, the fly fishes. Sometimes the, the reason you're getting any sort of interest is because of that great big tail on them. We're just going to leave it as is, we're going to persist with it. Just get that chuck back out there again. Go. Lovely. That's going to do us. Straighten up. A steady figure of eight. This fish has definitely come up a little bit. I'm getting more takes and the start of the retrieve now than I was when I started. Yeah, oh, oh, he's, oh, he's got him that time, he's on, he's on, let's keep him on this time. Come on, he come. Got him that time. That's lovely. Another nice winter rainbow. He absolutely swallowed that fly. There it is, just comes out the side. Lovely fish. Get him back. Water as quick as we can.